So hey guys, welcome back to my video. Today's video will be primarily focusing on this keyboard instead. So this is the RKR75 or you can call it the Lab75. So I recently got this keyboard from RK and to be fine to be disappointed and find out that it actually doesn't support any software. The RK doesn't support this. Really check as long as the wired edition you have no software support. So I figured I'll make a video about how you could make it work. So let's get started. As long as you got this, two things first. First, you need to make sure you have a USB connection properly connected to the keyboard, which is for it to work. And the second thing is, I will put it up on the screen right now. It should be QMK, the model you have. So as long as it says the QMK, this should work perfectly fine for you. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing first, you need to download the JSON file in the description below, which I link. Because you need that to work with this specific keyboard that I have here. So as long as you got this, as long as it follows this, or the RKR75, it should totally just work. So we will go to the site. So the site is it's called usevia.app. So you will go into the site. You will be greeted by a little rolling keyboard smiling thing. Just go to the settings. You should cl click on the show design tab first. Once you click on that, you should see this design option and now you can upload. You can choose that. I'll just click here and then use the JSON file that you downloaded from me. Click on it and there you go. It should load for this specific keyboard which is RK75 QMK. If you have any other QMK keyboard, it should work totally fine as well. But you need, I don't have the JSON file for them. So you need to download the JSON file from other place. But this is a tutorial for RK75. So now it will greet you with this. Click connect. And now once you connect, you can go to configure. See, it's exactly how your keyboard looks now. We'll just do a quick, since it's not like the how to use this software thing. So I'll just do a quick rundown. So this is all your keyboard, everything here. So you just now need to customize. So I can click on, let's say for example, I currently have it different. So let's just say this. So it's right now it's M O zero one zero one. So I can maybe set it to like maybe A. So right now it should be A. I'll try to show you the effects. So I'll bring my keyboard up. So right now if I press on this, let's just open a tab first. So if I click on this FN, it should show A. So it's A. See? So right now it has changed the keyboard. So all you need to do is basically that click on the button that you want to change and then you just change it to whatever key you want for this right now it shows keep it is page up but when you click that it's actually gonna take a screenshot so that's how you make the macro change i guess it's technically macro but it's just re rebinding the key to another and i got the volume knob here i can play i can pause so that's basically it all the others are is the media part you can fast forward or whatever macro i have set the macro actually here so you can actually see the macros here you can set yeah that's a lot you can do you just play around so that's it for the tutorial on how to get to customize your keyboard if you have any questions leave it down below if you want a full like comprehensive on how to use this use vr app thing you can let me know in the comments below too as i have I understand you guys because I actually got this keyboard and then I'm like struggling to get the software to work and then only to find out that for the wired version it doesn't have. I was disappointed but yeah, now it works. It's very great. Also, I got the keyboard. You can also set the backlight here. So okay, I'm going to turn off the light and show you. So this is the keyboard. You can change the light. So you're not just limited to the keyboard defaults. You can just set any, which is really awesome actually. So that's it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.